die is cast. I am witness. Witness came Paul of Jesus, the man who made Jesus Christ laugh. This is more than music. In a terrible vision, I was meant to see the map of Nigeria shedding tears of blood as it hanged on a star. All of a sudden, the map snapped from the star and submerged into a pool of blood under it. I was told that leadership failure will plunge this nation into anarchy and that there is only hope if we do the right thing before it is too late. When I heard this song in the vision of the night, I was shedding tears, only to wake up with tears physically all over my face. A voice has asked me what I am doing with the visions shown to me concerning this nation. Nigerians must make sure that vampires do not take up leadership positions in this nation again. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to many people. There is too much wickedness in the land. The nation is sitting on a keg of gunpowder. No matter your tribe, religion, or political affiliation, let us make a while the sun shines. I break your conscience. A great judgment is coming. I love you with the love of God. so blessed But I see the masses living in penury This country is so blessed But I see the people crying out in pain What a wickedness in the nation Whoa, What a wickedness in the land The Lord Mr. President I greet you in the name of the Most High God Stand one to the grave and lift up another. The die is cast. As the number one citizen of this great nation, blessed with everything, but has been reduced to a sleepwalking giant. We are dogs eat dogs. You owe God and posterity an account of your leadership confirming me. The Lord delivered you out of the prison where you will have wasted away. Expecting that one good turn deserves another, as in using you for an instrument of deliverance to this nation, decaying in the prison of corruption, bloodshed, victimization, and their lives. Are you succeeding in this fight? The blood of innocent citizens shed is crying out to God in heaven. God is coming down, and there shall be weeping, wailing, and flashing of tears. We need a national revenge, not national bloodbath. I advise you to read the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. May it not be your portion. I pray from the bottom of my heart that you will not disappoint God and end up like one of your predecessors. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when it is the wicked, the people mourn, which is the case now. May God give you grace to make history and don't become history yourself. I breathe your conscience. A great judgment is coming. I love you with the love of God. What a wonder we can miss in the nation. The seat of learned minds. I greet you in the name of the Most High God who judges the high and mighty. The guy is cast. You are supposedly elected by the people to be here for them. Is this really the case now? Our great nation is fast going down the drain with everything falling apart. What message are you bringing home to the people at the end of your journey? Are you a sinner of hope or vultures? God is watching you. The voiceless masses are suffering in the midst of plenty. I pray that you make up now because time is running out. I break your conscience. A great judgment is coming. I love you with the love of God. Forevermore, the tide is cast. You are 
supposedly sent to represent the helpless masses. Is this really the case now? There is a rape of democracy in the land. Are you raping or representing the people? Those who betray trust will regret the day of their birth. There is weeping and wailing in the land. Can't you hear it? The land is soaked with the blood of the defenseless. There is shooting and looting everywhere. Remember that God and posterity will hold you responsible for your deeds. No doubt. I pray that you do not end up as men obituary announcers of those you are meant to defend. I bring your conscience. Judgment is coming. And that judgment is coming. You are meant to defend the people. You are meant to wipe away their tears. You are meant to be voice to them. But where are you now? I love you with the love of God. The Lord Party leaders, governors, chairmen and all in governance. I greet you in the name of the Most High God, omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. The die is cast. You cannot fool all the people all the time. Whatever a man sow, he will surely win. Those who mother sleep will never sleep. The poor are crying to God every day for vengeance and deliverance. The center no more homes. What do you do with the bread of the masses? The resources committed to your care. The treasury is empty in the midst of plenty. Have all you do become what you do. No roads, no light, no food, no house, no school, no hospital. Everything good has a no time. The blood of the cheated ones is crying out to God day and night. What will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? God will need to apologize to the devil if he failed to act. A great judgment is coming. I bring your conscience. I love you with the love of God. The love human rights activists. I greet you in the name of the Most High God. Who kills and makes a lie? I am a prophetic activist. We are the voice of the downtrodden. It is not here to guru. He that fights and run away will live to fight another day. But he that fights to finish will have rest. Those who refuse peaceful change call for radical change. Do we have democracy yet in the land? This is a big question. The gangster approach to politics is he pointing to? We want a human society where justice, equality, peace, and law reign, not an animal kingdom. Africans and indeed the entire world are watching us. Both forces accompany both people. I do not say a little continue. Because if struggle continues, when will it end? I say fight to finish. All man see humanity to man in the land. No retreat, no surrender. Good over evil. I break your conscience. A great judgment is coming. How are the mighty fallen and the weapons of war perish? The beauty of democracy is slain by ungodliness in Nigeria. Tell it not in the streets of Nigeria that despite churches and mosques in all our streets, we are wretched frontliners in corruption. What a pity. How are the mighty fallen? The prophets have become dumb, dead, and blind in the land. The worst criminal is the one who falls his hands and watches his generation perish in iniquity. Those busy with eating are the polluted table of the evil rulers. Things rejected by Daniel are calling for God's wrath, and it is coming. Your religion or creed does not permit evil if it is of God, for God can never support evil. The religious killings in the nation is satanic and must be stopped now, as what men who are meant to be awake, have we gone to sleep?
for evil to destroy the land. Where is the nation going from here? To the promised land? Of course not. Let us rise now to save Nigeria. Fellow ministers of God, I want to ask us this big question. Are we standing in camp for God or taking sides with the devil? Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of the world, have appeared to me separately and will tell me to go and bear witness that he lives and can be made as in the Bible day. Almighty God is my witness and speak the truth and tell no lie. And as a witness of the Lord, I have witnessed what I saw and heard. I have no time for religion. I am saying that this is the time for all the religious leaders to rise up as fathers and do what they are supposed to do. I bring your conscience. A clear judgment is coming. I love you with the love of God.